Well, the numbers are in from last year's value enhancement programs in cattle sales. And Gant, what kind of numbers did we see? Dave, we, we last year, as, as all cattle producers know, we, it was a great year. It was a record year uh, for those cow-calf producers uh, and that calf crop. Uh, and with OQBN and the Oklahoma Quality Beef Network, it was no different. We, we saw record uh, high premiums. It was our second uh, highest overall enrollment in terms of, of, of cattle numbers. Um, and, and we chalk it up as, as a success uh, to all cattle producers generating about $1.2 million of extra income to the state of Oklahoma. Uh, this year, uh, we're, we're kind of looking uh, to be successful again. Um, uh, typically what we see, the value of these preconditioned animals are about eight to 10% uh, of, of, of their overall cost. Um, and, and we'll see that again this year. That's why we had such a high jump uh, in and, and the premiums last year, and we'll see another pretty good uh, return on investment for the, as as those premiums. But we'll we'll be about eight to ten percent again this year. Now, now speaking of this year, you guys have already set up the dates for the OQBN sales for this year. Absolutely, we'll we'll start uh, October 28th is okay. our first sale, uh, and uh, in Cherokee, and then we'll move on down uh, to Elk City out in western Oklahoma. And uh, as we move forward, we'll we'll have sales in, in Tulsa uh, and in Matt McAllister, and uh, and then uh, Pawnee and uh, in Blackwell as well. And, and then of course we'll have uh, our largest numbers will be at uh, the OKC. West sale barn uh, in El Reno this year. Um, we've actually had some changes uh, to that particular sale. We've sold so many cattle in conjunction with the uh, Integrity Beef program is that we've had to separate those sale dates. So we, we've set those sale dates as uh, November, uh, the second week of November and the second week of December. Now talking about those sales and, and being in the middle of July right now, producers need to be thinking about setting up cattle for those sales. Absolutely. You know, we're always looking forward to, to how we're going to manage our herd and how we're going to manage our calf crop. The, the biggest thing with these type of, of VAC 45 programs is actually the uh, the, uh, the the predict, production risk, excuse me, uh, and actually managing those cattle where we can keep them healthy uh, and, and keep them alive, uh, essentially. So some other things we might want to look at other than just the futures market in December is is what we have going on this year is, is rain, as everybody mm -hmm. knows. Um, and so we have, have ample forage supply. Um, we really haven't cut any hay yet. Which, which we'll need to, to supplement these calves in a dry lot. But, uh, but, but we'll have a, a lot of hay. It may not be the best quality hay, but so we may have to supplement a little higher energy and, and a little more protein to these calves. One thing that producers may be benefiting from and may not realize it would be weight gain. Absolutely, the, the value of gain on these animals in, in a preconditioning program is essential. Mm -hmm. We can't have those animals stagnant. They really have to be gaining. And here recently, the value gain on these lighter animals uh, have been well over a dollar. Um, and, and we've seen for years and years and years that, that that number's between 60 and 80 cents. So very valuable in, in terms of, of economic power to producers. Okay, thank you much, Gant. And for more information on the OQBN sales and sale dates, go to our website, sunup.okstate.edu.